104.3. Oh, man. Natalie, thank you so much for reaching out to us. You've been together with this guy only for about six months. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Six months. Okay. Why do you think that he's been cheating? What's going on? You know, I, I have this weird feeling. So, like you said, we've been together for six months. Things were going great. I finally got to meet his parents, and that went really, really well. Wait, you met the parents after six months? Yeah. Okay. Is that is that short? I don't know. I don't think that's I, short. I think it depends on the relationship, but yeah, I feel like six months is okay. Right? I thought it was good. Okay. Um, but it went really well, but now I just I can't shake this feeling that something is wrong. I don't know how to explain it, but he's acting totally different. Everything was fine. Everything was great. I met the parents, and now he's being weird. And I don't know if he's freaking out because I met the parents, but I thought we were in a place where we both realized this is a serious relationship. We want to move forward long term, all this stuff. I totally love him and I want to be with him, but I, I really need to know what's going on because I just, it's bugging me. Something is there. I know it. Okay. Listen, we're going to call him up. We're going to put him to the Cheaters Hotel test. You know, a lot of times when you get that gut feeling, you know, there's something there. You notice that he's changed. Those are all big red flags. So we're going to figure this out, okay? Okay, great. Catching cheaters one at a time. is Cheaters Hotel. Only on Power 104.3. We've been talking with Natalie. She's been with her guy for about six months, mm -hmm. and she noticed a big change after, I guess, she met the parents, and she noticed that he had been acting a little different, which means it could be something with the parents. It could right. be that he's cheating. She says that she has this gut feeling that something is up. So we're about to call him up and put him to the Cheaters Hotel test. <laughs> Aloha, is this James? Uh, yes, it is. Aloha, James. My name is Sharon. I work with a travel agency here in town called Aloha Vegas Getaways. I'm just giving you a really quick call to let you know that your name has actually been selected as one of our weekly weekend flyaways. So congratulations. It's your lucky day. Literally, your friend uh, referred you and we drew your name. So congratulations. Free trip to Vegas. All right. I guess we're all gambling these days, so why not gamble? Right. Let me tell you uh, what you're getting set up with, okay? So you're getting two two round-trip tickets to Las Vegas from Honolulu, a two-night stay in one of the MGM Grand's 1,300-square-foot parlor suites, custom-made bathrobes for you and your guests, plus food and gambling credits. Now, best part about all this, James, no strings are attached. I don't need a credit card or deposit. I'm not going to make you sit in any meeting. We're not trying to sell you a timeshare. All I need to move forward is just the first and last name of your guest, and then I'll sign you up, and you can take this vacation whenever you want. Okay. Yeah. Guess I'll bring my uh, my girlfriend, uh, Natalie. Okay. Now, this trip is free and good for one year, but in the meantime, we're going to be sending Natalie a dozen roses as a courtesy. I just need a quick note that you would like to leave with the roses, and we'll be all set to go. Yeah, I don't know about leaving a note. I mean, I think that the roses would be good enough. You don't want to leave a simple note? I mean, I think the trip is probably... Okay. Uh, yeah, no, right. no. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, no need the note then. Hey, listen, James, this is Dex, and uh, I want to give you a heads up. Being straight up with you, you're actually on our radio show. It's Dex and Candace K on Power 104.3. There's no trip to Vegas. You're actually on a segment called Cheaters Hotel, and Natalie had been really worried that you were cheating, and we were putting you to this test, and apparently it looks like you haven't been cheating, and she's actually on the other line. She's been listening this whole time. You guess you'll bring your girlfriend? You guess. What is that? Babe, what the hell? What? Why do I sound like a burden to you? What do you... You don't You don't even want to be with me. You just sat there and you were like, oh, well, I guess I'll bring her. What, do no. you have better options? What are you even, what are you even talking about? I. What are you, you want doing? What me? is this? Where are your cheaters hotel? What is... Why are you're, you... You're being weird. I'm not, you're being weird. I'm what not cheating on you. Natalie, at least he wanted to bring you. Yeah, he was not cheating. cheating. Right, like the fault. What do you mean the fault? have a better like, option? Like, oh, I guess I'll bring her. How is that better? Why are you? You've why been would acting you totally me? weird since I met your parents. What's going on with that? It did go well. It went well. Okay, then. So what is the problem? If that went well, and I liked your parents, and I thought they liked me. And yeah, I they love you, you a lot. Like, you love me, and it's like, well, I don't understand what the problem is. Yeah, if they love her, then what's the problem? <sighs> uh, it's like... Right, every time I go home, all they do is ask about you now. Like, when are you coming over again? And when are you going to bring Natalie? And, 
like, when are we getting married? And it's like, I need it to stop. We've only been seeing each other for six months. Wait, why does that have to stop? This is a good thing. When I get home at the end of the day, I don't want to talk about much. And they won't shut up about you. And it's like, I'm losing my mind because they're, like, expecting these things that, like... But why are... Yeah, why we're, in, we're, in a serious, we're in a serious relationship, but that doesn't mean I have to or want to talk about marriage right now, especially with my parents. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I don't want to think about two of the future. It's like, I just want to be in the moment and enjoy it. And, but how is this my fault? It's not, but at the same time, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on this guy. Am I right? Does it feel like you got a lot of pressure going on? Well, yeah, with, with this and all I do is work. So it's like, you know, I, I work, I talk to you, and then I talk to my parents, and they don't even care about what's going on with me anymore, specifically. They don't ask me about work, and all they're asking Wait. about is you, so it's just really hyper-focused on, like, that. I, I thought them liking me was supposed to be good. You're making it sound like it's a bad thing, and that I'm taking away attention from you that you want from your family. Like, how is it? How is this on me, and how is this on them? James, it seems like you got commitment issues, man, and it sounds like you're trying to self-sabotage, and it sounds like you need to see someone. Right. I just got accused of cheating on the radio, and I'm supposed to be cool and kosher with everything. Like, why didn't you ask me directly? Because you ignore me. I don't know, Natalie. I think I just can't do this right now. Natalie, what are your thoughts on this? Are you okay? No. (laughs) Five minutes ago, I had a boyfriend. Now I don't know what's going on. I think that you found all the stuff that you needed to know. Maybe he wasn't cheating, but there are some issues here that are pretty deep in him that he needs to work out before he can be in a stable relationship, you know? Yeah. And you needed to know that. And you're going to be fine, okay? Okay, thank you. Do you think your partner is cheating? Send Dex and Candace.